first off, I'll start by saying the reason why I went abroad was because I had heard somewhere online and meetings or whatever that the number one regret of graduating seniors from UCSB is not studying abroad. So that I was like, I don't want to be one of those people. So I went to Lund, uh, Lund University in, in Sweden. It's a, it's a very old town, and the university is also very old. It was formed in 1666. It's older than the U.S. Um, it's a college town, lots, lots of college students, kind of similar to UCSB, IB, um, in, in the respect of that, and that everybody rides their bikes, which is pretty cool. But the big difference is that here you're riding home down Salvador de Tarde. In Lund, you're riding down cobblestone streets around buildings that are <coughs> hundreds of years old. The classes that I took, um, I took two GE classes that were designed for international students, and then I took one uh, computer science class. Are there, I didn't see, are there any computer science majors out there? All right, one of them. Right. Good job, Tacey. We need to recruit some more. Um, I, I was a little ahead before I went abroad uh, in my junior year, so I was able to just take one course and still stay on track, but it's completely realistic to take two or even three engineering courses in a semester, and you'll be fine. Um, I took functional programming, and I learned the Haskell programming language. Um, it was a fairly challenging course, um, equally as difficult as an upper div class here. Uh, I spent a good amount of time on it. There were four programming assignments that I had to do, and then there was one final exam. The whole grade was based on the final exam, and that's kind of the case for everything in Loon, like it either comes down to like a final essay or a final project or something, so it wasn't that unusual, but I did all right. The, all the classes are taught in English, or like all Swedes know English. If on the first day the professor's talking in Swedish, you just tell him, can it be taught in English, and he'll teach it in English. So no worries about that. Um, I wanted to talk about the, the engineering culture at Loon because there's a ton of engineering students and it's really cool. So I went in the fall, beginning of the year obviously, and then there's a, uh, a three to four week period called Nolning. That's why I wore this t-shirt. I got it free last year. Um, at the beginning of the year, all of us California students saw these Swedish students in these colored outfits and like going around town, doing fun looking activities, and we didn't know quite exactly what it was. And um, we didn't know at the time, but it's meant for like new incoming Swedish students. But we didn't know that, so I just went up to a group. I, I asked my Swedish friends like, what's computer science? And it turns out we are the pink color for whatever reason. But um, I just went up to a group of pink, people wearing pink, and I asked them, can I join? And, even though it was meant for just Swedish students, they said, yeah, sure, join our group. And it was a really cool experience. Um, it's, the Nolning is sort of like a fun initiation for new students. They, you go around the town doing like scavenger hunts and stuff, and you get to know other people. And like, um, it culminated in this event, which is what I took a picture of, this giant day party like in the middle of the town. And each different color is for each different major. And there's a way more engineering majors at Loon than there are here. There's even fire engineering, which I thought was really <coughs> cool. It's very exclusive. Um, and and the, the interaction with the Nolning was like one of those really special experiences that you can only do abroad, where it forced me to get out of my comfort zone. Um, it was like the first time that I didn't hang out with just my California friends. I, I was the only non-Swede hanging out with them. And the engineering uh, students at Loon I know it seems kind of different from the U.S. stereotype, but like the engineering kids at Loon are the coolest kids on campus. <laughs> I, I'm not joking, and they, they throw tons of parties and everything, and it, it's a great time. Um, even though I only took one engineering class, I also had a really cool experience from my GE classes. This was from a Viking history class that I took. Um, we went to an archaeology site about 15, 20 minutes away from Lund, and these were master's uh, archaeology students who were like actually finding real things there. This was an excursion. 
I recommend if you do GE classes, look for ones that offer excursions because they're really cool experiences. And uh, inside the, the lab in their building, they had like found a gold uh, piece of jewelry that was from like 900 AD. They just found it like two days before we got there. So the GE classes can also offer, like I definitely couldn't have taken Viking history at UCSB. So also a really good thing about studying abroad.